In this video, we're gonna highlight how Jan Frodeno became the best Olympic triathlete in the world. People saw him as an unstoppable athlete because of his victories in the Kona's men races in 2015, 2016, and 2019, and winning the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in 2015 and 2018. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. In 2016, he broke the world record for long distance in Roth, Germany, and finished with a time of 7 hours, 35 minutes, and 39 seconds. In 2021, he improved his own world record with a time of 7 hours, 27 minutes, and 53 seconds during his tri-battle at Algal. Jan Frodeno was born in August 1981 in Cologne, Germany. He immigrated to South Africa and is now living in Girona, Spain. Jan Frodeno is 1.94 meters long and eventually became the greatest of all time. He set some of the best performances at the highest level on the short, middle, and full distance races. For example, Challenge Roth and the Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii. Frodino already proved that he's an exceptional athlete. It's difficult to find a weak spot in his performances. He takes advantage of his swim background by entering T1 at the front of the race, then bikes strongly and runs swiftly. Like many sportsmen, Ferdino has a passion for coffee. He has his own coffee brand, Frodissimo, in Girona. His hobbies are cooking, surfing, eating, and playing volleyball. And Jan Ferdino is not the only triathlon champion in his household. Emma Ferdino, his wife, in 2008, she won the Olympic triathlon in Beijing. She also is a three-time world champion. His sponsors are some of the largest companies on the planet. For example, Canyon, Asics, Mercedes, Ryzen, Ameo, Glucose, and many more. His career records made him a superstar. Jan started his career as a swimmer at age 15 in the town of Cape Town, South Africa. He spent most of his childhood in South Africa. In 2000, he watched his first Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia. Frodino took a deep interest in the sport of triathlon. It became his new passion and eventually his career. He participated in a few triathlons in South Africa before returning to Europe to compete in the German League as an amateur. He achieved a lot of success and won a silver medal at the 2004 Under-23 World Championships. Then, Ferdino decided to turn professional and participated in the ITU World Cup circuit. By winning multiple races in the ITU Olympic distance events, he earned himself a place in the German Olympic team for the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. He set a gold medal performance in Beijing, and after this, he retired from Olympic distance because he wanted to focus on long-distance training. He went on to win race after race and won the Ironman 70.3 World Championships in 2015 and 2018 Ironman 70.3 Barcelona in 2015 and 2017, Challenge Roth in 2016, Ironman Austria in 2017, and the Ironman European Championship Frankfurt in 2015, 2018, and 2019. Jan Ferdino had the fastest iron distance time for five years. In 2016, he broke the record set by fellow German Andreas Reilert and broke his own record at Challenge Roth by crossing the line after 7 hours, 35 minutes, and 39 seconds. Unfortunately, he faced an injury in 2017 and had to withdraw from the coming race due to a stress fracture in his hip. He won his second Ironman 70.3 World Championship in September 2018, defeating Olympic champion Alastair Brownlee. Even though the course was very short, he ran a minute faster than Brownlee on his new carbon-plated running shoes. The third Ironman World Championship he won was in 2019, and he did it in a time of 7 hours, 51 minutes, and 13 seconds, becoming the third triathlete to complete the World Championship race in less than 8 hours. In 2021, he went head-to-head -head with Canadian Lionel Sanders and crossed the finish line just ahead of him in a surprising time of 7 hours, 27 minutes, and 53 seconds. And something crazy about that race is that he could have done even faster, but he slipped during his transition, landing hard on his hip. Ferdino's time record stood until November 2021, until Norwegian Christian Blumenfeld beat it with a 7 hour, 21 minute, and 12 second time at Ironman Cozumel. Swimming is Ferdino 
Ferdino's best element of his race, and he's always at the front of the pack during the swim. Ferdino said his Olympic win was the highest point in his sports career. Six important things you should know about Jan Ferdino. He always surprises himself. Jan Ferdino always does nearly impossible things with ease. In both performance and appearance, he's magnificent due to his Ironman training intensity and volume. He became a multitasking machine. Apart from sports, he also has a job, family obligations, and social life disciplines. His time management ability makes him a multitasking machine. He teaches us how to live in the moment. Jan Ferdino is the most successful Ironman racer, and during the race, his game plan is the only thing he's thinking about. In the moments before the swim start, he's focused on the race and doing everything he can to set himself up for success. He gets comfortable being uncomfortable. The Ironman distance is not easy. Race day will be a big challenge even for pro athletes, but Jan Ferdino has learned to embrace the pain by teaching his body and mind to be okay with the discomfort. He's grateful for his abilities. He's racing across 140.6 miles in a single day on his own strength. That's amazing! Finishing an Ironman will continually remind him how strong, capable, and resilient he is. He reframed the definition of hard. After all that he has accomplished in an Ironman, he rewrote the definition of hard. For him, shorter races seem like nothing. Who is your favorite triathlete? Let us know in the comments below and you might see them in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video and please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for more videos like this.